so the chicken is ready now and we're going to just cook the soup in, in a few easy steps i'm going to first of all start by adding the fish the asa like i said <laughs> in evil asa means beautiful i don't know what this one means Sha. so the soup is ready to cook per se so after adding the fish i'll just turn it hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy i'm filming my first cooking video ever today so <laughs> my name is rita if you just see me for the first time this is my channel where i talk about my life as a young mother motherhood womanhood young motherhood and every other thing in between and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for supporting me i really appreciate i'm in my kitchen today again no? i'm beginning to enjoy filming videos in my kitchen so i'm i'm filming my first cooking video today and today i want to show you guys step-by-step -step process very simple of how to make a salad soup open salad indigenous to the river Rhine area of anambra state and that's where i'm married to before i got married i i had not eaten Masala soup before. I don't know how to cook it. I don't know how to prepare it. I've never eaten it, but since I got married, I discovered that it's one of the major foods where my husband is from, and he likes to eat it a lot. So I learned how to prepare it, and I can comfortably tell you that it's one of my favorite food now. So I want to take you guys through the very simple process of preparing it. Okay, over there in Anambra State, you can prepare it with fresh fish like the African catfish or chicken you know this one they call old layer i don't know the native name but old layer not broiler and my husband prefers the one with chicken not fresh fish so we are going to be preparing the insala soup with chicken stay tuned so this is the chicken that i'll be using to prepare the soup like i told you it's called old layer it's not the regular broiler so i'm going to be using this chicken to prepare the soup and then this is the yam the yam is actually a thickener the yam thickens the soup the thickness of the salad soup is actually as a result of the yam. So I'm just going to parboil the chicken using only some onions and then a little salt. Just a little bit. So that's all I'll be using to parboil the chicken. Then the yam that will serve as the thickener does not require any spice, any salt or ingredients is just fine on its own it only needs to boil soft enough to pound that's all it needs i didn't add anything to the yam apart from a little water so as you can see the chicken is already boiling it's already boiling and i'll be getting my other ingredients ready while i wait for the chicken so for the chicken i'm allowing it to boil a little with its own water that's the water that comes out from the meat then after i i allow it for some time then i'll just add a little quantity of water just a little the salad soup doesn't require a lot of water just a little a little bit of water then i cover the pot so these are the only ingredients i'll be using to prepare the insala soup like i told you it doesn't require a lot of ingredients the best insala soups are actually made with the simplest things okay in anambra too they don't add vegetables to the soup it's just the soup is just actually very simple i'm just going to be using one spice then this is the fish i'll be using for it this fish is called asa i don't know the english name of the fish but <laughs> In the east here, yeah, it's called asa, and that's what I'm going to be using for it. Then, crayfish, salt, pepper. I'm not going to be using the onions. It's just the one that was remaining from when I seasoned the meat. I don't use a lot of pepper because my kids eat it, and they don't like a lot of pepper. So, to prepare the asa for the food, I'm just, I'm going to soak it in hot water because it's usually very, usually very strong. I'm going to soak it a little bit in hot water while i'm still waiting for the meat so by the time the meat is by the time the meat is done the fish too would have been ready to go into the pot so i'll just allow it to sit for a while so the yam has boiled 
So I'm just going to transfer transfer some of it into this plastic mortar and pistol for for pounding. I'm going to mash it up with this mortar and pistol before I add it into the pot and then we start cooking proper. So just a few pieces of yam because the soup is not supposed to be so so thick. It's just supposed to be somewhere in between thick and watery. So I'm just going to start with this one. So I'm mashing, I'm mashing the yam in the mortar. I'm going to do it like this until it's completely, it has a uniform consistency. Like there are no balls inside or lumps. Then if you're cooking a large quantity, you can use the regular mortar and pistol, but sometimes it makes noise. The regular mortar and pistol now, the wooden one that... <laughs> It's just very, very Nigerian, but most times it makes a lot of noise. And if I'm not cooking a large quantity, this one actually works better for me. So I'm just going to mash it up. So the chicken is ready now. And we're going to just cook this soup in a few easy steps. I'm going to first of all start by adding the fish, the asa, like I said. <laughs> In Igbo, asa means beautiful. I don't know what this one means, Sha. So the soup is ready to cook, per se. So after adding the fish, I'll just turn it. Can you see that the soup is very busy? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep some for you. I'll keep some food for you. So I'm just going to blend everything inside. Then add just a little bit of water so that it will not be too thick. Just a little bit. The next in line to add is the thickener. The yam, the pounded yam, or the mashed yam. Whatever it is, so I'll just add it at different parts of the pot. At different parts of the pot. Remember, the soup is not supposed to be too thick. So if you use a lot of thickener, the soup may end up being too thick. And then you have to add a lot of water. So I've added the thickener now. So I'll stir everything again. Stir everything again and then close the pot to allow everything to simmer together so as you can see the the yam that served as the thickener has completely dissolved dissolved in the mixture so the next to add is a little bit of crayfish not much the soup doesn't actually require a lot of things to be delicious so I'm not going to be adding a lot just a little quantity and then I'll just try to mix it together next I'll add the pepper can you see the little bit of the yam in the place <laughs> so I'll just mix everything together don't worry I'll, I'll reserve some soup for you then the next I'll add is the seasoning. Just one. I don't need more than one Maggi cube for the soup. So I'll just add one. Then I'll add a little bit of salt. Can you hear my baby say Mr. Curry? Just a little. Remember that we used we used salt to to season the meat so we don't need a lot of salt again so that's it the soup is ready I'm going to allow it to steam for some time I reduce the heat while I add ingredients I reduce the heat so that I will not tamper with the taste of the soup so once I I close the pot now I'll still turn off the heat so it will just heat for some time and it's ready to eat so this is it, the salad soup. 
the anavrawi. So can you see it? The soup is ready and we are done cooking. Now it's time for the swallow. Bon appetit, food is ready. So I'm done cooking. Did you enjoy watching this video? Did you enjoy learning how to make the soup? I really wish you try it out. You will love it. It's a very nice soup. Thank you for watching up until this point. I'm off to eat the soup. So <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.